A vicious attack at a popular dog park is drawing a lot of attention tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. Thanks for being with us. A pet owner says his beloved Yorkie is now dead after a violent incident involving two larger dogs. Tonight, he talked with our Nikki Hauser about his message he wants to share after he lost his best friend. Are you ready? It's the place they loved more than anything else. Are you ready to go to the dog park? The park beside Stones River Greenway, the one they visited for over 12 years. Uh, well, it's, it's, this is Sparta, <laughs> and that's what's on his, uh, people always got a kick out of that. But. Where Jamie Wigginton and his best friend Sparta would run and play. Right there. Right there's where it happened. And where Thursday night, life changed forever. It's just something you can't unsee. Jamie says two large dogs on leashes attacked Sparta inside the dog park. He says he threw himself in the middle to defend him, but they left Sparta bloody and torn apart. He later died at a nearby emergency vet. And just the look of sheer terror in his eyes while he was trying to heave and breathe. And uh, until his eyes glazed, glazed over, it's worse than any movie you could ever possibly imagine. Um, I want people to know how bad it was. Because this is a, a, a public concern. It is. Jamie put up this sign at the dog park one day later. He wanted to let people know what happened to Sparta and hope that some of these dog owners would take a lesson from it. It's definitely upsetting. Madison Wilson saw the sign walking into the park Wednesday. Um, I kind of had a similar experience one time with her where um, it was just us and then another lady that had two big dogs and they like attacked her. She and Jamie say responsibility with your pets is key. I don't want anything bad or anybody to send ugly messages to the, the, the owner of these dogs. Uh, nothing of the sort. Um, I do want to give her a hug and I want her to look at the pictures that I sent you of my bloody dying dog and I want her to cry for him. And he hopes Sparta's story will remind anyone with aggressive or reactive dogs to seek training or extra help to avoid a similar situation. Nikki Hauser, News Channel 5. Animal Care and Control worked with Jamie last week and says if this happens to you, get as much information as you can from the dog owner. Call Animal Care and Control to get additional help.